YouTube is a wonderful animal to try and understand. So out of all of my fishing videos and instructional videos, cod videos, barra videos, bass fishing, everything that I do, American tournaments, the whole lot, the most popular video is, the most popular topic on my channel is my videos with Kevin Van Dam, which speaks for itself. But second, which you wouldn't believe, well, I struggle to believe, is my Dale Audio stuff. And we usually only dabble a little bit in his system. We talk about some of the new speakers, the lighting, the networking, whatever. So today, we've decided we'll go through the whole setup in his boat. Show us why this system is so good and why it's so popular on my YouTube channel. So we're in the boat with Kenny. Hello. So Kenny, I'm not sure whether it is your audio system that makes these videos popular or if it's actually you. I hope it's me. So, but this really won't find out because both of you are in it again, the audio system and yourself. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to run through the whole system, top to bottom, inside and out, learn everything about this JL audio system. But oh, You know the main thing, Dean, you've got to be able to hear the music when you're driving the boat still. 100%. Righto, Dean, let me show you how we make so much good sound come out of this tiny little boat, eh? Most importantly with the stereo is the power supply, okay? You can't run a, little, a massive stereo off a little tiny battery pack, all right? Stereos, as much as I'd like to say, is as efficient as they can be with the amplifiers and everything that we can do with the JL stuff, they need power. If you don't have a good house battery bank on the boat, you're gonna to start to have problems with your stereo not sounding as good as you want it to. So on this particular boat, we're running two large deep cycle house batteries just for running the stereo and of course all the electronics that we run on this boat. So not only is it important to have good battery, good power supply to the stereo system, it's also really important to have good wiring in there as well. Don't just run cheap two core automotive power cable. It's not designed, it's not gonna work as good as proper actual speaker wire okay and on a boat obviously use the tin stuff so JL do offer a full range of RCA cables the speaker cables a really simple do-it-yourself um, amplifier wiring kit so all the lugs and everything you put on there so you know which ones go to the battery you know which end goes to the amplifier if you don't have that right wiring running to the amplifier you're not going to get that power to the speakers so right from the battery right up to the speakers make sure you get that genuine wiring that you need so when you're working out the, let's say, the architecture of your stereo, think of the zones in your boat. So this is only a 20 foot center console. So the main zone is right where I am now, here at the helm. This is where I wanna hear the stereo the most when I'm driving at speed. So I've got speakers pointing towards us at this zone here. If you've got a larger boat, upstairs, downstairs, rear deck areas, that sort of thing, make sure you've got individual zone speaker setups for those guys. So once you've worked out what speakers and where they're gonna go on the boat, that's when you can work out how many channels or amplifiers you need for the boat. So on this particular boat with two pairs of speakers and then I've got the big subwoofers at the front here, I'm running a 1000, or an M series 1005 channel amp. So one pair of channels for the back, one pair of channels here on the side, and then the last channel goes to the subwoofers to make those things really kick. High end noise as well. Okay, you need a jet ski to your... <laughs> Start again. Speaker selection is such an important part of it as well. As cool as it would be to have you know, heaps and heaps of subwoofers on the boat, they can only produce that low bass sound. What you still need is that mid-range and the high-end tweeters and stuff to make sure you get the full sound stage of that music everything playing all at once. The first selection on this boat is I went for the biggest speakers I could fit in this back section here, which is the M6 770s. They've got the nice big cone around the outside there that's gonna give you the good mid-range noise, but they've still got that high-end tweeter in the middle, so you get that right up to that violin sound stuff. The real high-pitched noises coming out of this as well. But remember, it's only 7.7 .7 inch. You can't produce the noise that an eight inch or a 10 inch subwoofer can do. So that was a good starting point. Oh, and importantly, they are pointing towards us at the helm so we can hear it while we're driving. So then we moved up to the side here. Now, these were the biggest ones I could fit into the side of the boat. Obviously, remember how much depth you've got. You don't want your speaker hanging outside the back. It is waterproof from the back, but won't look too nice. 
These are the 8.8s M6s, okay? So they've still got a bigger cone area for the, the low end and mid range sound, and it's still got the really nice big high end tweeter in the middle of it. Did you know our tweeters are actually made out of silk in these things? It's amazing. These two M6 10 IB subwoofers running up the front here, running in parallel off the fifth channel on the actual 1000 watt amp. These two units pointing back at us when we're driving along is what makes the difference. I can have the music even at a middle, a middle volume and still hear that bass while we're driving along. If you've got a boat with four pairs of little speakers on there, you might be able to hear that high end treble when you're driving, but you won't hear that bass. And then when you stop, the speakers are just screaming at you because there is no low end stuff. So you need a subwoofer in your boat. Lovely, it'd be good if you could have two, like I have on this boat, but one is definitely gonna make a big difference. Ooh, no bass. <laughs> Wrong part of the song. Turn it down. Have a look. Use them. Then you gotta work out where you're gonna control it all from, yeah? On this particular boat, we've got the MM100 Black Edition. So that's the Media Master JL head unit. It's got four channel output on the back of it. Um, also, NMEA 2000, so we've got it hooked up to the Lowrance screens on this boat, so you can control the volume from any of the screens on this boat. So with this MM100, we've got various uh, source inputs, of course, so AM, FM, radio, you've got Sirius if you're in the uh, US, not here in Australia, USB, that's how we're running the music today uh, for the video, so USB sticks are simply plugged into the back of the unit, um, and then of course you've got Bluetooth and an auxiliary input as well. So as I was mentioning, the NMEA 2000 side of it, the advantage of it is up here at the front of the boat when I'm away fishing and uh, everyone down the back might not like my song and they try to turn it down, I can simply turn it back up. And not just the volume, of course, you can skip between songs, tracks, select the different sources, everything can be done on the actual MFD screens. So not only can you make your system sound amazing with the JL Audio stuff. You can also make it look even better as well. So the new M3 and the M6 series speakers are available in an eye or illuminated version, meaning they've got RGB lights in the back of them. So not only does it sound really cool when you're at the campsite at the end of the day, all drinking around the boat, having a good chinwag about all the fish you've caught or the water skiing that you've been doing, you can sit there and actually have these like a disco in the background flashing away, really fun. Right, Dean, I've told you about how good this system is. You've heard it yourself, but how about we go listen to it? And I've uh, actually snuck a couple of rods in the boat, so we'll go for a sneaky lunchtime fish. Sounds good to me. I think we are, our work here is done. You. Don't be that guy. Drives up and down the river like that with the stereo flat out. <laughs> Poor dude. Well, sound system as it drives away, is definitely going on my list for the new rig, when I get a new rig. Well guys, thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you want to find out what I'm up to on a day to day basis, just jump on any one of my other social media pages, don't forget to subscribe, I'm constantly putting up a couple of videos a week now to keep you guys entertained, otherwise this has been Dean Sylvester, fishing my way.